Ted Struley, editor of the Journal Record, joins us to discuss stories making headlines in business this week. Ted, natural gas company One Oak Partners is facing a lawsuit. What's happening there? Well, there was a $10 million lawsuit filed up in uh, Tulsa County this week. This is a company called Barcast that's suing them uh, over the Barkin, uh, Bakken Express pipeline uh, that One Oak is building. Uh, Barcast says that uh, One Oak didn't live up to their contract, cut some deals kind of uh, behind their back, and they're looking to recover. Chesapeake is still buying real estate while trying to unload assets. Right, there's a shell company that was set up that uh, over the, about the past year has been buying up some real estate around the Chesapeake campus, a lot of empty land, a few commercial buildings, a couple of houses, and what's interesting about that is that, of course, Chesapeake has been selling off billions of dollars worth of assets to pay off debt, so a uh, little bit of a surprise to find that happening. Continental Resources has just made a generous donation to the University of North Dakota. What's that story? That's right. Uh, Continental and uh, their CEO, Harold Hamm, donated $10 million to the University of North Dakota's uh, College of uh, Geology and Mines. Uh, they're going to rename the school uh, after Mr. Hamm for that donation. The regents at OU have approved the purchase of a medical research park. That's right. Uh, OU is going to buy the Presbyterian uh, Health Foundation Research Park. That's a 700,000 or so square foot uh, campus in Oklahoma City near the Medical Center. The terms of the sale were not disclosed. The mostly houses bioscience and biomedical startups. Uh, the deal is expected to close in the summer of 2013. Ted, a Texas company has announced plans to enter the Oklahoma market. Who's coming to town? That's right. Well, this is um, a company that's buying out Lafarge North America, and uh, it's a $446 million or so deal. Um, part of the deal, uh, this was Eagle Materials buying it, and part of the sale was a Tulsa cement plant that Lafarge owns. What are you working on for next week? Well, you know, baseball season, at least the minor league season, is over, and we're going to take a look back at Mandalay Baseball's second year of ownership here in Oklahoma City, see how season ticket sales and concessions went, sponsorships, and whether everything was up to their projections for their second year. So baseball season lives on for a while longer in Oklahoma. That's right. Ted Struley, editor of the Journal Record, thanks for joining us. My pleasure.